everybody. So I am here to talk Implicit Association Test, abbreviated as IAT, which was developed by Greenwald and his colleagues in 1998 to measure people's automatic associations between evaluations or <laughs> between concepts and evaluations. So my current research explores the relationship between implicit and explicit sexuality attitudes and warmth and competency ratings toward characters in the Netflix series Ozark. So to capture people's implicit sexuality attitudes in my research, I use Project Implicit Sexuality IAT. And this has the categories of straight people and gay people and the evaluations of good and bad. And there are seven parts to the sexuality IAT, each of which relate a concept, evaluation, or a mixture of both with the keys on your keyboard, so the E and the I key. So what you can see on the left here is that good or gay people are associated with the E key, while bad or straight people are connected to the I key. You, the participants are given these instructions and then given words such as hate or heterosexual or homosexual, and they have to press the corresponding key on their keyboard. Then these things are switched. So good or straight people are connected to the I key and bad or gay people are connected to the E key. And so the main idea is that this task is easier when closely related items share the same key, such that if someone has an implicit preference for straight people relative to gay people, it would be easier for them to use this condition on your right, where good or straight people are connected to the same key. And so with this information, we can start to explore our implicit associations and try to dismantle them. So if you are interested in taking Project Implicit's IETs, you can do that right on your phone and you can even participate in our research. So that is everything for me. Thank you so much.